inserting shapes. If you've used Microsoft Word before, then you already know about shapes and how easy it is to draw them. OneNote 2013 also allows you to draw all sorts of shapes and easily place them onto your notebook pages. This lesson is going to be fun because we're going to learn all about shapes. When we can draw shapes, it sounds more complicated than it is. A lot of people have a hard time drawing a straight line, so before you think that you're going to actually have to draw freehand, let me tell you that it's not true. OneNote 2013 actually does the drawing for you. Let me show you what I mean. Go to the Draw tab and have a look at the Shapes group. Select the shape that you want to draw. We're going to choose the circle. Simply click on the place on your page where you want to put the shape. Keep the left mouse button held down and drag the shape onto your page, as shown. Do the same thing for any other shapes you want to add. When a shape is selected, it has a dotted line with a square border around, as you can see. When you first draw a shape, it's automatically selected. Your shape has been selected in order for you to move or edit it. That said, to select a shape, move your mouse pointer over a line or border of the shape and click the mouse button. Now the shape is selected. Now that you have your shape on the page, we can format it. Select your shape and then right click. Select the pen properties from the toolbar. It looks like this. Here you can select the thickness of the line around the shape as well as the colour of the line. We can choose a thicker line with a different colour and click OK. And you can see how the shape colour has changed. Let's say you've drawn a shape but you want to rotate it. To rotate the shape, go to the Draw tab and then click Rotate in the Edit group. You can click on the down arrow to see a few different options on how to rotate the shape. You can select any of these options and the shape will rotate. Use the handles around the shape the small white squares to drag the shape out to make it larger or push it inward to make it smaller. Remember to keep your left mouse button held down while dragging. The eraser lets you erase all or part of a shape. To access the eraser, go to the draw tab and click eraser in the tools group. If you click on the drop down box, you can see different sizes of erasers. Choose the size that you want and then go to the shape on the page. As you can see, we have our circle here. On your page, the eraser appears as a square. Just move it over parts of the shape that you want to erase. You also need to click and hold the left mouse button down to erase the part of the shape. When you finish, simply release the mouse button. And also, whenever you work with shapes and you want to switch back to typing text, be sure to click the type button in the draw tab. Just over here.